Hey guys, and thanks for clicking on the video. I'm Zemic playing some Gyarados on the top lane. We're running these items and these emblems. We're in dual queue. Amateus is the slow bro leaning with us. And we're going to be stacking. He has the EXP share, so it actually doesn't matter which one of us gets the last kill. So I got all of them to make it easier to stack. Oh, man. Flail. Uh, there is no way I am getting a stack against that Pikachu right there. He's just going to electroweb me, and that's going to be it. Alright, Amateus with the confirm. Unfortunately, my attack speed is zero, so they are going to be able to uh, stack against me pretty easily here. Alright, but with the Pikachu down, I should be able to get a stack in, hopefully. 13's kind of a lot, but I did it anyways. Now we have some more bunnies to take and bird spawn in four, so we don't want to use our flail on this bunny. And Pikachu's back. Alright, I got one of them, and Amateus got some. Let's splash on out. Right, we don't want them to have the orbs around our goal, because they can just stack with that. I'm almost to Gyarados. Once I'm a Gyarados, we'll have way better uh, wiping power. So Dragon Breath and Waterfall is the set that I kind of like to take here. Nice. I had to X speed to get him, but I got him. And that's going to be a couple stacks here, which is so nice. Hopefully that Phantom doesn't take it. Nice. Now we're just going to get out. I could probably take the Phantom, but the Pikachu's coming back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at these birds, if they're still around. They are kind of around. Take the Altaria there. Okay, bird spawn in 8 seconds. Amateus is doing his best defending job ever. Oh, good faint by that uh, Cinderace. I die here now. He's, he, he kites me. Now, my waterfall didn't come up. I didn't have X speed up in, at that point. I needed to hit that Dragon Breath, and he had a great faint. Most Cinderace don't tank fate do not take faint these days, so I was not expecting that. Man, Dragon Breath chunks. There's so much damage considering its range and that uh, Gyarados is like a is a melee option, you know? Oh, I should have let Scizor get that, but whatever. See about helping this Chandelure. I have a little bit of a better objective taking power than he does. Oh my gosh, this Cinderace is just outplaying me left and right. Good Unite move. Alright, so I we have an obvious candidate on who to uh, ult at the end fight. Whether it's Amateus or me that ults him, I don't really care, but Cinderace is the one that knows what they're doing what he's doing on their team. That Pikachu had very poor timing there. Alright. Did I not buy enough time? I guess I didn't. We don't have any, like... Uh, he's looking for an ult. Yeah, I can't help play that. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Pikachu's Electro Ball. That was that must have been max range for that Electro Ball. That's crazy. Well, we're winning the fights, but we're losing all the objectives. Yeah. I, I'm a lot of our burst power for objectives, and I had to zone quite a while there. I don't know what our Venusaur decided to do. That was kind of odd. Um, I mean, they have a lot of people up there. I have a feeling this is not going to go very well, though. Dragon Breath does so much damage. Nice. Alright, well, we finally got our first objective. Um, it's not going to last until the Ray fight. So, we need to see about breaking open that top goal bank if, we're, if possible. Taking jungle, things of that nature. This is our time. Well, it was our time to be aggressive. A couple of our people have lost the buff, though. Uh, that Venusaur's probably caught. He had X speed, maybe he can get out. Oh my gosh. Venusaur just used his Unite move. Um, this Regieleki is not anything special. I mean, both of our first gold banks in the top goal in the top plane are still intact. So, you know, worst things, worst thing that could happen is it crashes on that. Um, if I'm being completely honest, I was more concerned about the Altarias than this Alecky. the Trevenant down. Uh, our Scizor used his Unite move. I'm just gonna back here. Just let it crash. Okay, we need a Sight on the Cinderace. We have two dead. As long as we have Sight on the Cinderace, it's gonna be okay. Okay, we, we lost sight on the Cinderace. Oh my gosh, cute charm. Please. All right, we have to XP it out of that. That was so close. That cute charm almost killed me. I was, uh, I couldn't waterfall and I had to walk towards it instead and then I got slept because I walked towards it. All right, Cinderace is in the bottom lane. All right, means that we can take this. I don't know how my Unite move did not confirm that, but I'm very glad the Chandelure did. As good as that Cinderace was, he just left the uh, Ray. He, he didn't make a concentrated effort to get there in time. Alright, that should be a good win. We'll go we're gonna go ahead and back off anyways. There's no real reason for me to stay up there, aside from damage I guess, but see I could have stopped this Pikachu from banking. Probably shouldn't have done that, probably should have just left my Ray shield intact. I think there's no way I'm banking that 50. We have side on like all of them here. No, we're missing one. Oh there he is. Alright. 
It's a strange game. They had a really good Cinder race, but he didn't show up for Ray. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, 818. I don't know. That was a very strange game. Chandelure put up some big damage numbers. We did adequately. I'd say we did our job. And, you know, getting stacks is half the battle for this build, but once you have them, you're pretty strong. I'll go ahead and give it to that Cinder. He was the only thing keeping their team upright. Alright, I will see you guys tomorrow. Until then, bye!